Hello, welcome back mga kasiket. Today po, magre-review tayo ng bagong phone, ang Samsung Galaxy A20s. Ayan. So, dati meron nang lumabas na Samsung Galaxy A20. Pero ngayon, meron silang nilabas na bagong unit, which is the Galaxy, yung merong S. So, titignan natin kung worth it ba nabilin sa price niyang 9,990 pesos. Checkin natin kung worth it ba kung bibili kayo ng ganitong Samsung device for gaming, for vlogging, or for you know data, or for watching movies. Tignan natin yung qualities ng phone na to. So, let's start! Alright, so let's start unboxing the phone right now. So, kakuha natin yan siya. Ito ang bagong Samsung Galaxy A20s smartphone na launch noong 23rd of September 2019. So, nakita nyo, naka-sealed. Dapat pag kinuha nyo para safe kayo na brand new yung makukuha nyo device. So, tingnan natin yung loob. Uh, as you can see, yung box nya hindi siya ganun katigas unlike other devices. Ganyan siya. So, hindi ganun katigas yung cover nya and napakalambot lang nya. Siguro dahil na rin sa price, you know. Kaya hindi ganun yung packaging nya. Pero it doesn't matter. Guys, ang malagay na sa loob. Alright, so we can set that aside. And check naman natin yung laman niya ngayon. Katulad ng mga ibang devices, meron siyang kasamang user manual. Para, you know, para meron kang alam kung hindi mo pa alam dapat gawin sa device. So, meron kang quick start guide na kasama sa loob. So, nandyan lahat nakalagay kung paano mo i-open yung SIM cards. And also included din yung warranty card para naman pag nagkaroon ka ng mga damage sa device. Pero this is not physical damage. I guess this is just for mechanical damage, of course. When we say warranty, warranty lang talaga siya. Okay? So, let's see the actual phone. Oops. Alright. So, yung actual device niya, manipis siya. And as you can see naman, meron siyang 6.50 inch touchscreen display. So, kasama din sa loob ng box yung charger niya, which is Type-C. So, ito yung fast charging charger. Okay? So, sa device, uh, kasama rin niya yung pin for SIM card. As you can see, wala siyang kasamang uh, earphone dahil sa mga devices na less than 10K for Samsung, wala na siyang kasamang earphones. So, yan lahat ang kasama sa box. So, let's check the specs of this. You know, meron siyang glossy back that's comfortable to hold. It is, uh, fits just right in your hand for a comfortable grip you'll feel right away. Meron siyang color, black, blue, red, or green. So, depending yung choice sa'yo. Alright, so makikita nyo rin naman yung phone, napakaganda ng, ng kulay niya, plus meron siyang fingerprint sensor. Simplify mobile access with security you can trust. You know, Galaxy A20s features a rear fingerprint scanner that enables you to log on to supported apps and unlock your device with ease. So meron din siyang 3 cameras. So meron siyang 3 cameras, depth camera, main camera, and the ultra wide camera, plus meron din siyang camera sa harapan. So, the, the rear camera and the front camera. You can also see na sobrang dipis din ng device and you can compare it to other devices like iPhone 6 Plus. So, ganun siya kanipes. You know, kung makikita nyo naman yung dalawa na yan, uh, pareho din sila ng size. You know, the size is um, 6.5 full rectangle, you know. So, 6.4 inches rounded corner siya. So, it has an infinity screen. So, mas malaking screen niya compared to the iPhone device which is the iPhone 6 Plus. If you can see the screen, it has 720 by 1560 HD Plus and 6.5 uh, inches full rectangle or 6.4 inches rounded corners like I said earlier. This, the screen is so responsive, you know, yung touch mo napakagaan lang at ma mabilis siyang sumunod dun sa mga ginagawa mo. I'm sorry about that. Now, meron siyang 1.8 GHz CPU speed and octa-core CPU type. So, yun yung kanyang processor. You know? Meron siyang two types of screen as well. So, meron siyang dark mode at saka yung regular which is the white one lang. This device has 4 GB of RAM and meron din siyang ROM na 64 GB and pwede mo din siyang i-expand. Alright? So, pwede kang gumamit ng micro SD up to 512 gigabyte. So, sobrang cool na nito. You can also use two SIM cards dahil dual SIM siya. You can use nano SIM card for the SIM 1 and SIM 2. Plus, magkakasama na yun siya yung micro SD niya sa isang lalagyan. 
So ngayon naman, tatry na natin yung device kung paano siya mag-perform sa video editing, sa pictures, yung, yung kalalabasan ng mga pictures compared to the other devices. Well, ang meron lang ako na pwedeng i-compare sa kanya for now is the iPhone X. So tignan natin yung pagkakaiba using the new phone that we have, the Galaxy A20s compared to the iPhone X video and pictures. Plus, titignan din natin kung pwede ka bang mag-edit ng video sa ganitong device at yung uh, gaming experience kapag ginamit mo to sa Mobile Legends. So, we can start now! Alright guys, so tatry naman natin ngayon kung ano magiging performance niya pagdating sa mobile gaming. So may, meron tayong na-download na Mobile Legends. So since bagging device it ka, the download lang, kailangan natin mag-start sa tutorial. <laughs> okay, so so far so good naman, medyo mabilis naman siya. So it's loading, so for the first time siguro normal lang yan. There we go. So, wala pa ako nakikitang lag so far. Oops, meron mga konti-konti. Ayan. Welcome to Mobile Legends. Oh, ano ba ito? Stop and wait there. So, tingnan natin performance niya. Ayan, now it, it's running. So, ayan. Magandang graphics niya guys. Medyo malaking screen niya. So, kung talagang gamer kayo, you know, maganda to. And you can see naman, guys, hindi naman siya naglalag masyado. Hindi ko lang sure kapag yung talagang game na nang yung maramihan na. But for now, it's doing its thing. Kasi naman, meron siyang 4GB of RAM siguro. That's the reason why medyo maganda yung performance niya when it comes to gaming. Okay? And tingnan din natin yung settings niya. Ng screen niya. Kung naka HD ba siya right now or yung resolution, yung user interface, tignan natin. Open ko lang yung settings natin. After, yeah. Okay, so you can see there, and then lahat ng settings. Uh, nope. Pero if we're going to see naman, naka-HD mode siya. Naka-turn on, naka on yung HD mode niya. So, maybe hindi mo pa ako dito. Naka-high siya. Naka-high yung graphics niya. So, everything is good. Well, so far, as I can see, and if you will be asking me kung carry to, for me, this is good. And this is approved. Eme. <laughs> That's just for me. So, iba-iba naman tayo. There you go. Alright, so, tingnan naman natin ngayon ang magiging performance niya when it comes to video editing. Sa isa sa mga pinakasikat na video editor, used for mobile phones which is KineMaster. Hindi po nila ako binayaran para i-flag yung kanilang uh, applications. Ito po ay sarili kong initiative. <laughs> okay. So, the settings are there. You can see naman po yung regular settings ng KineMaster is na dyan. And then, we'll try to edit a video with 16 uh, by uh, 9 or 9 resolution. I don't know ang tawag doon. <laughs> Okay, so nangwa ako ng video na merong 9020.1080 resolution pero hindi daw siya supported. It needs to be converted into 720. So there you go guys. So I hope uh, makakatulong to para makapag-decide kayo kung gusto niyo ang bumili o mag-purchase ng bagong Samsung Galaxy A20s. So for me, kung ako pagpipiliin, if it's for gaming, approved. If it's for video editing, for, you know, kung vlogger kayo or nabablog kayo, kung okay na sa inyo yung 720 resolution, there's no problem with that. You can still upload it to YouTube with good uh, resolution pa rin naman. Pero for me, I prefer having 1080 uh, resolution. So that's a no-no for me. Okay? Uh, for videos, no-no um, uh, for me kasi wala siyang, ano, Ang tawag dito, stabilizer. So, kailangan mo pang kumuha ng gimbal para hindi magalaw yung video mo. For, uh, for pictures naman, I can see na, alam mo yun, meron naman siyang 
uh, pro type so pwede mong timplahin yung kulay ganyan so kung hindi naman masyadong gagamitin for alam mo yun for photo shoot or anything na uh, uh, artistic photos it's okay na rin naman okay but for me uh, video ed uh, video editing is no video game is yes for pictures for me is yes okay so yun lang guys sana worth it yung pagbili nyo at uh, bumili kayo kung gusto nyo talaga siya. Pero if you're looking for something, there's still other choices out there in the market and there's a lot. So, kung gusto nyo ng mas magandang quality, then you should have budget for that. Yun lang mga kasikip. Thank you, thank you so much for joining me in my video. If you like this video, hit thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel if it's the first time you watch my video para naman ma-update ka para sa mga susunod kong videos. Bye-bye!